friends welcome to this content based video from the wall street school this time specifically with the respect of usage of excel now, i've been a professional for the last 18 years now and i'm going to share with you the four most important formulas which has helped me navigate the turbulences of excel for me so for me the most important ones have been a combination of match function with the following one one is the v lookup the second one the h lookup third one index and fourth one offset so a combination of v lookup plus match h lookup plus match index plus match and offset plus match i mean once we are more comfortable with this most of the excel things are taken care of i mean there are other formulas as well but in terms of the difficulty of navigating the excel these formulas help a lot so what i'm going to do, do is i'm going to share with you a practical example of a case study here this excel here in which i'm going to use all these formulas trying to solve the same thing and all different formulas and you'll get the same thing at the same time so let's take an example here so there are different companies and i'm going to the dates here so this is the database here so these companies the dates are given what i need is the stock price data of these companies on this specific date from this database and i'm going to use a combination of vlookup and match i'll get the results i'm going to use a combination of hlookup plus match and get the same results i'll use a combination of index plus match get the same results and offset plus match first of all let's understand what is a match function this excel file is also in the download section so you may want to use the same download it watch it and then do it at your end and in case you find it insightful share it with your friends and your colleagues okay so first thing first let's understand the match function what does actually match do now over here suppose this is a series here and i want to find out at what sequence is b coming in the series this specific b part is coming in which sequence over here like this is second here small series so what i'll do is I use a formula called match, which returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in a specified order. So I said match what? I said match B. I want to match B. This is my lookup value. What's my lookup array? The entire series is my lookup array and match type by default, I make it as zero because I want an exact match. I said zero. So it gives me two as an answer over here because two is B is at the second sequence in the series. Similarly, match function can also work horizontally as well as vertically. For example, I want to find out at what sequence is C coming in the series here. So I said match what? Match C in this table array, in this lookup value, the entire table array and match type is zero. So it's coming at the third sequence over here like this. Okay, so what match function does is gives me the sequence at which that particular cell is there. Now come back to this example here. Now what I'm wanting is, I'm wanting the stock price of these companies on these specific dates from this data set here. So how to solve it? First of all, let's do it with VLOOKUP and MATCH. I'm going to use the VLOOKUP. What VLOOKUP does is, it looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. So in the leftmost column of the table, so in the leftmost column, I have the date date here. So what I'll do is I use a VLOOKUP here. I said lookup value is my date. This is my date over here, comma. Table array is this entire series, my entire array over here. And I fix it because this is going to remain consistent. I use F4 for fixing it. For Mac users, the shortcut is command P, P as in Tango. And in the column index number, because there are different values here coming in different columns, I'll use match function because that's going to help me figure out which series it has to be. So I match what? I said match the company. I want to match Infosys. In this lookup array, what's my lookup array? My lookup array is where this series of companies is mentioned. And I fix it, comma zero. Mind you, the match function only works row wise or column wise. It does not work in the entire area. Okay, so, so it's going to tell me that Infosys is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7th 
position in the series here, comma, range lookup I said zero, and enter. So I get the corresponding results of Infosys on this data. And similarly for Wipro and Reliance and the Wall Street School over here, the way it is. This is guys a dummy data, so just don't take it on the face value. Okay, then let's try to solve the same thing using HLOOKUP and MATCH. So I said HLOOKUP, now VLOOKUP is vertical lookup, HLOOKUP is horizontal lookup. It looks for a value at in the top row of a table or array of values and returns the value in the same column from the row you specify. In the VLOOKUP, there was the column you specify. In this, I'm supposed to look into the row which specifies it. So I said HLOOKUP, look at what? I said, let's look for the company. So I look for the company because I'm looking at horizontally row wise. So I look for the company here. What's my table area? I select this entire range, fix this part here because my table array remains consistent. In my row index number, I do what? I have to look for, I look to horizontally look for the dates. So I said match, match what? Match correct? Is date go? This date in this sequence because it has to go either vertically or it has to go horizontally so fix it comma zero so i close the row index number using the match formula and range lookup i said zero here you go and enter i get the same results if i drag it down here you go now let's use index and match now what index does is the index formula it helps us to re it returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column in a given range at the intersection of a row and column in a given range so i said in the index at the array here i have the row number i have the column number here so array this is the complete set of array which i have i fix it comma the row number I said I need to figure out the row number using the match formula. I need to figure out the column number again using the match formula. So how I do it is I said match. Match what? I have to first of all find out the rows. So I figure out map using match formula. I use the date because this is given to me in the rows. So I look look up this value. What's my lookup array? I look into this table array over here comma zero it gives me the row number because it will match at what sequence is the date coming comma column number i said match match what i need to match the company because this is coming over here horizontally i said match the company comma in the lookup array i look into the companies fix it comma zero select this now red color gets closed with red color the black color gets closed with black color and enter i get the same results here we go same numbers now let's do the same thing for offset and match so what i'm saying is offset offset now offset returns a reference to a range that is a given number of rows and columns from a given reference in index the entire array was being used in offset it will take from specific range you know specific cell here so i take it from cell a20 so let me do it here i said offset offset let's take it from a20 i fix this part here from this reference i need to move the rows and then the columns so i use the match function for getting into which row i need i need the take which date I need first of August and then I need the company. So I first of all I use the rows for getting the dates and then the columns for getting the companies. So I said match. Match what? I said look up what? I said look up the date. Here you go. I got the date in this series. Fix it. Comma zero. Close this part here. Then I go to the column. I said match because I need to now look into the company here match what i said match the company this company infosys in this table array fix this part comma zero so move the rows move the columns from the reference of a20 
and I close this here. Enter. Same results. Same results here. Put in the comment section below as to why you have, why I have used A20. What if instead of A20, I would have used, I would have used this cell of B21 as the reference point and moving it and how would you have done it? Right, so what I've done is I've done it using VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP and INDEX and MATCH. So different formulas, but you know, once you start navigating and having comfort with INDEX and MATCH and OFFSET and MATCH, VLOOKUPs and HLOOKUPs become almost obsolete. So solve it at your end also. In case you find it insightful, share with your friends and your colleagues. Happy learning.